What's going on guys? How's everybody doing? <laughs> so um, I figured today, it's just kind of, I don't know, nice day hanging around the farm, that I want to actually test out some things with like being able to live stream from different parts of the farm. I've been working on some stuff and so yeah, um, that's kind of what I'm going to be trying to do here. And I guess the other thing to announce is I have a new sort of very different type of video that's going to be debuting on the Morgan Gold channel uh, later this afternoon. Uh, right after this live stream and so figured kind of do both of those things but yeah what's going on guys um i'm on my phone too so i'm gonna do my best to respond to chat but it's also a little tricky um but it's good to see everybody <laughs> yeah brian it is mud season and yeah as you guys can see um yeah we're like down to no snow again it was weird we got a big snowstorm last weekend we got i don't know almost about 20 inches i think in total but then uh, it's pretty much all melted in the last couple of days. And so, yeah, you're starting to see the ground poke through in most places. Say hi to everybody, Abby Dog. Toby Dog, come say hi to everybody. Hi. Oh, Toby, you gotta go pee on the thing? All right, Toby's gonna go pee on the thing. That's just like what he does. <laughs> come on, sweetie. Inside, 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 inside. We're gonna hang out and talk to people from over here. Come on, Toby, back in, come on. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. So yeah, things are good here on the farm. Um, hey, what's going on, Allison Thomas? Good to see you from the UK, Manchester. Uh, yeah, things are good. It's uh, it's warm. I don't know. It's warmish. It's like forty something degrees, like forty two degrees or so. Um, it's sunny, which is also kind of nice. Here, I think this is like maybe a good place to just set up and hang out with you guys. Um, I got Toby Dog here, and Abby Dog here. And I got Ginny Barncat right here. Say hi to everybody, Jin. Uh-oh, Sawyer Levinson saying it's very choppy. And oh, okay, so you guys are saying that quality's not good. This might force me to go inside. See, this is what I was actually trying to figure out. So I appreciate the feedback, back, guys, and I'm gonna do my best here. Also, the, it's really windy, so I'm gonna do my best on the audio too. Um, is it getting better now that I've stopped and I moved to like one spot? That's actually one of the things I wanted to try to test out today. Hey, what's going on, Bia? If you don't move, it gets better. Ah, okay, all right, That's this is, this is why I wanted to do this test today. So I will probably be doing less of walking and talking and more just standing here and talking. Um, oh, Abby keeps pawing at me because she wants my attention. <laughs> it's all good, Brainy Singh's still la laggy, Gene Brown says it's good. Hey, what's going on, Gabriella in Brazil? It's also super windy. Um, <laughs> All right, audio great, no movement, good. Ah, okay, all right, I, that, that's super, super helpful feedback. You, your sound is really good. Okay, so the sound with the microphone, see, this is part of what I wanted to test. Hey, what's going on, Assassin? Good to see you, buddy. Marjorie, better but not great. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. So what's happened is I've actually extended out the Wi-Fi range, and so I'm able to do this now from the Wi-Fi right here, which is, I don't know, I guess, if you guys recognize like different parts of the farm, where I'm at right now is actually like, this is where the watering station is and like the weird chicken house or brooder house is like directly behind you guys. And yes, I'm still dealing with the rat problem. <laughs> um, so kind of all that stuff is right here. Uh, every, uh, this is adorable. All right, here, we're gonna go down low for a minute. So you guys can get the Abby eye view and the Toby eye view. So both dogs can sense that I have bones and so they're like really antsy for the bones. So that's what Abby wanted. Toby, you want the bone? There you go. They're no worries, still fun to watch. Cool, that's cool. What's going on, David? Good to see you. Um, yeah, so I'm just kind of hanging out down low. Here, I'm gonna bring this back up again because it's easier to see you guys up high. Ginny's down here with me, which is kind of cute. Whoop, uh oh. Hello. How about that? Is that better? Okay. What's going on, Hannah? Yeah, this is always hard. Yeah, I, I apologize. See, everybody always asks me to like do live streaming from around the farm. And then when I do, they're like, it doesn't look or sound good. Um, 
Hey, Diane, good to see you. You're almost as bad at trapping as you are. I, I, I would say, Kevin, that is not a uh, unfair statement. <laughs> Um, but yeah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you do your best. I don't know. Hello, Michelle Harris. Good to see you. Duck, duck. Good to see you. All right, Jeannie, why don't you, why don't you hop up and say hi. Come on, Jim. Come on. Come up. Pretty soon I'm going to be in t-shirt weather, Jenny, and you're not going to be able to sit on my shoulder anymore. I know. <laughs> hey, D, good to see you. What's going on, Eli? In Finland. You know, I really want to go to Finland one day. I uh, I think it would be a lot of fun. Maria's in the UK. <laughs> the, man, the, the mouse is a comic book builder. You're talking about the rat. So the rat is actually living inside or underneath there. Let's test the Wi-Fi. See how good this goes. Apologize if it gets too much. So. Here we have weird chickens, and they're kind of hanging out. I have traps all out. None of the traps are armed right now, but I have them set up because I'm just trying to get the traps to like smell as much like this area as possible. Oh, weird chickens are running <laughs> over here. <laughs> but you can see, like, there's a trap right here, a trap right here, a trap over here, a trap down there. Uh, yeah, I've got traps everywhere. I don't know. I'm doing my best. I'm trying. But so far, uh, Temple is the But you never know. I think I'm going to keep Carmen with the weird chickens, actually. Um, I don't know. I've debated. Pretty content with this group and uh, Carl. All right. I can't see the chat while I'm looking at that. All right. Trusty bucket. So here's the thing. I know a couple of people, like on the video that I put out yesterday, have been asking about why did you bucket trap? I have bucket traps. I've used bucket traps to catch mice before. The reason I haven't tried to do the bucket is number one, because All right, I'm going to go inside. I will leave this out here, though. So maybe we can have, like, a camera view out down below, like a Toby and Abby cam, essentially. Let's see how this works.
and I'm now back inside the house. <laughs> um, so here, we're going to actually mute this camera. Yeah, a sec, let me readjust just slightly, ever so slightly. So yeah, I, I genuinely wanted to try to test out doing this all from outside, but it doesn't seem like it's going to work, which is a bummer. It's a big bummer, I actually think. I like I, I I wanted to be able to like be able to do like live streams where I'm just sort of hanging out outside doing my thing, but uh, no, it doesn't seem like it's gonna work. <laughs> but I guess we can watch. Oh, oh, I lost her. I guess I gotta go to this view. You can see Abby chatting on a bone. She's just sort of sitting there doing her thing. Oh, I was driving you nuts, Deborah. Okay, well, th hopefully this is all back to like my normal live streaming because this is like just my usual setup that I have in here. Um, so hopefully it's, it's kind of gone back to normal. If it hasn't, tell me. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Amber? Good to see you. I'm 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 back, Sterling. See, I I just I was outside and and so I ran inside the house and now I'm I'm upstairs in my office. So, like, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's all this to it. So I'm back in the far, farmhouse. Okay, Maria's saying it's fine. All right, well, that's good to see. Okay, all right. Th thank you, trusty sidekick, for keeping me on track. Um, so, yeah, so you're wondering why am I not using a bucket trap to catch the rat? And the answer is because it's freezing overnight. And so, it, like, the water in the bucket trap would freeze. And if I didn't put water in there, um, and even if the water freezes, like, I'm not going to catch the rat because the rat... I don't know if you guys have seen the footage, but that rat is so darn big. Um, you know, I'm not sure that there's much I can do. Here's actually the really crazy thing. The other day I actually caught the rat or I thought I caught the rat in the trap and it actually escaped. Hold on. I'm going to pull up a video and show you exactly what I mean, but it, it was actually nuts. Hang on. I'm going to see if I can get this video here. Hang on. I'm, I'm just digging up the video. Um, okay. Now, now watch this. This is, this is insane. So you can see the rap. <laughs> he actually got caught in it. And he ran away. Like, so, so this rat is like not an ordinary rat. It actually got caught in the trap <laughs> and just still escaped. So I, I don't know what to do. Like, it, it's crazy. And, and so my concern with a bucket trap is that it would actually be able to escape that too. Use a trap you can cover. Wait, wait, hold on. All right. So Kevin is saying, use a trap you can cover a bottom bottleneck point. So actually, if you see the trap that I have, um, like if you if, like if I'm here, let's see if I can highlight it. So see this trap right here. This is actually a covered rat trap. So it's like it's kind of like this trap here. Only this one's like a little tunnel and it has an entrance on both sides. And I have two of these set up now. So I, I am trying to use those. <laughs> I, I think you're 100% right about that. I I actually am about to get rat size uh, have a hearts, Nisa. So I am going to try that as well. But Maria, I, I'm pretty certain that that rat, if it went into a five gallon bucket, would jump right out. Like it would fall down, it would be down there, and it would just jump right out. And so you need the water so it drowns. Um, is is the honest answer, which is, I know kind of sounds harsh, but but I, I I think that that's the problem. Um, yeah, Finn, I have tried to do that. I've, pl I've tried to place them several times against the wall. So I have tried that a hundred percent. Right. I mean, like, like, let's go back and look at this, this thing here. I mean, look how big that rat is, but yeah, it, it gets caught in the trap. Like it's in the trap right here. Like you can see the rat actually in the trap and then it somehow wriggles its way out. And then it's like, oh, I did not like that one bit. And <laughs> it, it goes around one of my traps. So 
So this is one of those tunnel traps that you actually see it standing right next to right now. It decides not to go in it. It goes over it, and then it goes back down into its hole. I, I have never seen anything like this rat. This rat is the most intense rat I have ever seen. And the other thing is I'm pretty sure there's only one rat. It's just this one rat who's living underneath the, the chicken house. <laughs> you get 100%. So yeah, so so I am gonna try like a have a heart live trap. That is, I I actually have it coming to the house. It should be here actually tonight. Um, so I will try it. A falcon, but if I get a falcon, Jennifer, then the falcon's gonna eat the chickens. That's this is the problem. Uh, jackalope. I think you might be right. Um, <laughs> that that is actually a very realistic potential solution for sure. Hey, what's going on, Justin? Good to see you, pal. <laughs> Um, they can swim and they don't drown. I mean, I, I have heard that too, but I mean, so I've had good luck with the bucket traps before and, and they've worked really, really well with mice. Like that is by far the best way to trap a mouse. Um, I, if, that might be an option I go Frederick. You know what? They, I don't know. Abby might like Abby. I've seen at Abby took out a woodchuck once. Um, so, I mean, and she could definitely take out the rat. I think the rat's just actually too big for the barn cats is, is the reality. I feel like that's part of what I'm facing. Uh, yeah, Maddie, I think you're totally right. I mean, like, 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 look at this thing. Here, we're going to watch this attack again. It, it, it just, it's maddening. <laughs> that was, and all this happened, uh, Two nights ago. So the so the the video clip I'm showing you right here is from two nights ago. Uh, he's a very smart one. I don't know if that would work. I I think he has enough escape routes that if I tried to like say run a hose down underneath like in this area, like if I tried to do that, he would he would probably just uh, zip right out. So I don't think that that would work. <laughs> RJ, I have never gotten stuck in the mud uh, with my truck. Um, Allison got stuck once, but I have not gotten stuck. <laughs> Called the mink man. I, I might have to. I don't know. That's a packed rat. No, I don't think it's a pack rat. I think it is actually a Norway rat. But uh, oof, it is a biggie. <laughs> D, I think you're right. Like it does look like a nutria. Like it's it's it is a it is the biggest rat I've ever had to deal with. <laughs> a collet. <laughs> Ferrets and terriers. I yeah, I don't know. I I mean, I, I think you guys are all throwing out some decent suggestions. You know, I, I've actually thought about this. Like, so so putting both cats in there. Why is this lagging so much? Um, so, so what Leslie's suggesting? So, like, I take Ginny and Pablo and I keep them inside here, inside the the area where the rat seems to be coming out. I've thought about that, but I just don't think they're going to be able to tackle that rat because it's so big. <laughs> no comment, George. <laughs> Yeah, and we don't really have a lot of ch uh, snakes in our area. So because we're a relatively cold climate, um, we get like the, the garter snakes. But, but other than that, we don't really get a lot of snakes around here. I, I agree, M Maria. I'm doing my best. Every night I am trying to trap. You know, I actually I, one thing I've thought about is actually leaving Abby inside there overnight one night and seeing if she can do the job, because I, I think that that would be more likely. So I might try that. But the problem is, if I leave Abby in there, I can't have the traps in there because I don't want Abby to get hurt on the traps. See, I think if I don't, if I do that, he's just going to go somewhere else. I actually want to keep leaving the chicken feed in there and keep having him comfortable. I think I just need to try different traps, and so that so that that is what I am going to be doing is is trying some different traps. <laughs> yeah, Abby's Abby's definitely curious about it. That that might be something I do where where I have I have Abby in there one night and and see if Abby can do it. That that would be a potential solution for sure. 
Uh, I mean, she would definitely eat the peanut butter. Abby loves peanut butter. It, so every night when I'm setting the traps, I'm usually putting a little bit of fresh peanut butter in there because that's what I use for rat bait. And um, Abby loves to lick the spoon. So so she would definitely go for the trap and probably get her snout caught in there and get hurt. And so I got that's why I can't have the traps armed in if if Abby's in there. <laughs> So, Doug, the weather's actually pretty good. It's – um, oop, hold on. I'm going to sh shift gears. So the weather's actually pretty good. Uh, it, like I am uh, – let's say it's like – what's it? 42 degrees. It's windy out today. It's uh, 41 degrees and windy right now on the farm uh, according to the official weather. That's pretty cool, that animal channel. You're going to a poultry show. A sable poo. Ooh, that, that's pretty cool. I'm excited. Well, well, I wish you all the luck there, and hopefully you take home a ribbon. What's up, squirrely prepper lifestyle? <laughs> oh, door on air. Where's Lil? Uh oh, I think Lil went downstairs. She's probably gonna start trying to convince me to um, eat her. Hey, look, Abby's hanging out though. I can't move the camera in case you're wondering. It's fixed out there. Um, but yeah, Abby dog. Abby dog. Abby. I think she can hear me. Hey, Abby. Abby. Abby dog. <laughs> um. Yeah, you know what, Kevin? I, I'm actually shooting a video tomorrow, and when I do that, I will actually do exactly that in the video that I shoot tomorrow. So, so yes. Abby's got it. It looks like one of her bones. Ab, Ab, so, Toby Dog is not a huge bone fan, but Abby lives for chewing on bones. She loves them. It makes her so happy. I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with the quality of of what this is doing. Uh, so, this is part of why I wanted to do this live stream test today is is to kind of test all this stuff out. And yeah, I will be doing a normal farm meeting on Wednesday. This is just, like I said, I wanted to test some things out today. And so uh, that's really all this is meant to be, is me testing some stuff out and, you know, just hanging out with you guys. <laughs> the floating bridge in Brookfield, huh? You know what, Gail? I probably didn't do that. Um, so I I, I could have. Uh, I See, but I, I think they were just stuck together. Like, even if they were warm, they would. I think they'd still stick together. I don't know. That's actually an interesting question. Douglas, I will most definitely be getting pigs. I'm going to get, I think there's going to be four of them, maybe five of them this year. Have I tried reverse trapping the rat? Set a trap to block the rat's entrance back under the pen. Oh, that's an interesting idea. So like, hmm, huh. That's an interesting thought, Heather. I don't know. I don't know how I would do that. I'd have to be like watching him live to like drop the trap. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I could try to do that. 22 eggs set yesterday. First clutch of the year. I will probably set my first clutch of the year. It's going to be, uh, I think about another two weeks um, will be when I set it. Yeah, they will be the same type of pigs as last year. Yep. I, I know everybody wants me to do something fancy like a Mangalitsa or a Cooney Cooney or a Idaho pasture pig. But nope, I'm just doing, the, it's like a Duroc cross pig is what I'll be doing this year. You know, Tasty Fairy, I've actually thought about doing that. I, I think it's a very good question to ask. Um, and and so the answer is that um, I will probably try to do something like that. Um, so so I've got to find some sort of solution for Bean because when the, the ducks go out to pasture, I don't know, I'm, I'm worried about her being good out there. Um, so I got to find a plan B for them. And sh so she could, in theory, go out with the weird chickens. I don't... I think uh, just the weird chicken house would be the only problem for her. So I, I would have to figure something out around that. But everything else would make sense with her and the weird chickens. You can buy a reverse. It's a piece of metal that will let them come out. But oh, yeah. But see, I, I would wonder if you'd actually go even go through. <laughs> How 
How big a grazing area for all the animals? Well, here, let me show you this. So this is some footage that I shot last weekend when we had all the snow. So we have, um, it was about a 30 acre pasture up on the upper, like what you're seeing on the right hand side, this area here. So that's about 30 acres, that main pasture. Um, and so that's like where the cattle will go this summer. Um, so I don't know, probably first week of June, I would guess is when, when they're going to end up out there. So this area that we're flying over right now, um, feed the rats, pop tart, feed the cholesterol. Get them. Yeah, I know that's a thought. <laughs> Um, we've done tomatoes, we've got, uh, peppers, we've got, um, tomatoes and peppers, I think are, the, uh, I think the only things I've gotten started so far. Used a barn owl, but I don't know if he's going to go into the coop. Yeah. I don't think the barn owl is going to be all that effective. And again, I got to balance all of this with the chickens because I, I don't want the owl eating my chickens, you know? Um, so, uh, you, you, it's like there's a hole in the bucket, dear Liza, dear Liza. <laughs> so, yeah, this is where we had, uh, I don't know, it was, uh, it was like one 24-hour period. We got about 18, 20 inches of snow is what this footage is from. Um, so this was last Sunday I, I shot this. Ah, uh, oh, RJ, I'm glad you asked this. So, so, so what RJ is talking about is on the farm, we're going to be getting a uh, total eclipse of the heart and sun, and uh, that's going to be on um, April 8th. And so that's a Monday. And actually the video that I put out on April 8th is not going to be a normal video. So usually I post my videos at 11 o'clock every Monday and Thursday. And on April 8th, I'm going to post my video later that day because what I'm going to do is make a video where I capture all the animals' reactions to the total eclipse. And so um, it'll be posted probably later that, excuse me, later that evening is when I'm going to post the video. So uh, um, if you're looking for my video on Monday, April 8th, it's going to be, I don't, I don't know exactly what time it is. The, the eclipse is at 3 o'clock. And so... Probably by the time I shoot it, get my footage loaded, get the video edited and finished. It's probably going to be about seven or eight o'clock at night was when the video is going to premiere. Um, I'll probably do like a live premiere of that video. Um, and so so um, I would I would say be on the lookout for late. But but I will be shooting a video that day on the farm that shows the eclipse. And so it'll be fun. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to do. And so, so that's going to be happening. So I think what Bella um, Bella means is basically like she put them in an incubator uh, to hatch them. Yes. Hey, what's going on, Zoe? Good to see you. Thank you for coming by. Uh oh, is it, am I having uh, live stream issues? If I am, you guys, can you guys tell me? Because I, I can't ever see it. I can only uh, see what I have in my preview screen. So if there is an issue, let me know. Um, yeah. So I think the Charlotte Cavs will probably be in June, if I had to guess. Um, I don't know that for certain. Um, right now, the two cows that I'm watching the most are um, Ariel and Audrey. They are the two that seem like they're about ready to drop. Like, I, I wouldn't be surprised if that happens any day now. Um, and based on the calendar, uh, the first, the earliest that it could have possibly been would have been last week. Um, yeah. So it won't, the, the, the three, the eclipse video is not going to be a 360 video. I actually have these special, uh, lens filters for my cameras. And so it's going to be like a regular video, but it's going to be something I shoot that day. And it's going to be all about like how things look and the animals reacting to the eclipse. That, that is what I'm going to be doing for that video. <laughs> My planning on breeding, yes, I will definitely be breeding the weird chickens in a couple of different ways this year. 100%, James. Oh, that I really appreciate that offer, Allison. Um, there's nothing to report on that one right now, but uh, yeah, stay tuned. Live stream is perfect, that's that's great to hear. And, and uh, here, let's check in to see if we can see what's going on down on the farm. Um, 
we're going to remove the drone footage and check back in. I think you can see Abby in the far in the corner of the camera um, here. Uh, like here, I'm going to. We're going to look here for a second. We're checking in. Yeah, you can see Abby just to the left of the camera, right where it says delish. Um, so or where where you see it just says Morgan Mobile. Um, you can see Abby just in the corner there. Abby dog, come. Let's see. I, I don't think she can hear this uh, based on the way the audio is set up. But yeah, Abby is right there. <laughs> uh, when she comes back, if she comes back out, we'll, we'll go see. Okay, everybody's saying that the live stream's good. Oh, so so yeah, there is actually a reason why I didn't live stream to Facebook today. So this was meant to be just really a test of some live streaming stuff. And when I live stream to Facebook and YouTube, I have to do some things differently. I just wanted to test to see how like some new Wi-Fi extensions that I'm doing with the farm are are working, which is what you're seeing in this camera feed of of the yard right now. And so that's what that is. <laughs> I was at I was at the eclipse when it hit Washington DC. I want to say that was like uh 2017 or 20 I think it was 2017. Um I remember that and you're right. The temperature dropped really quick and it was weird because that was that was that one happened like it was in the afternoon too, like two or three o'clock. Um and so yeah, that was I'm not sure if that was a total. This one is supposed to be very, very rare. I'm so I'm super excited for it. Oh, he's watching the earlier street. Yeah, that's a good point. Maybe because it was problem some problems earlier. <laughs> Challenge the rat to a duel. Asa suggests that we have uh, honorable gentlemanly conduct in combat. <laughs> Allison is doing great. <laughs> Has the capital gotten back yet? Um, oh, oh, I think are you are you asking about the changes in in coyote hound hunting? So the bill actually just passed the state senate, and so now it's going to the house, the, le the legislative house, um, uh, right now. I don't know the exact timing of it, but that is the next step for that bill uh, related to, to hound hunting and coyotes and fish and wildlife governance. Honestly, Mr. Bauer, it's a little bit on the back burner just because, I, one, I haven't had a ton of time to work on it. And two, I don't know. It's, I don't know. I'm just maybe not as exciting as, as I was. Um, the big things I've been working on a lot lately. So this video that's going to premiere at 4 o'clock, which if you want to see it, it's it's going to be pretty cool. Um, or I'm sorry, it's not premiering at 4 o'clock. It's premiering at 5 o'clock. That video is, is I've been working so hard on that one. And then other channels on the on the Morgan Gold channel have been really the videos I've been working on most. Um, hold on. I'm going to share something else with you guys here in a second. Um, Hold on a second. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to find this video that uh, I'm going to be premiering at five o'clock. It's going to be so it's me telling some stories about life in high school. Um, uh, I'm, I'm excited about this. I worked really hard on this one. It's kind of like, uh, I don't know, if you mix the moth story hour with the Wonder Years and that heavy metal movie, the animated movie, like it, I, and like maybe like a little bit of Gene Shepard Christmas story. Like that's going to be uh, um, something that I I'm super excited about, but, but that, that is what that is. And so that video, whoop, hold on a sec, is right here. Yeah. So the question is, is there going to be an Allison shirt? No, there will not be an Allison shirt um, per Allison. <laughs> I, I, I think somebody brought that up on a previous live stream and Allison was not a fan of that idea. So I don't I would say do not hold your breath for an Allison shirt anytime soon. Hey, Katrina, what's going on? Um, good to see you. I hope all's going well um, with the kits. How are the cats? The cats are good, other Katrina. Um, so uh, Lil, I don't know where Lil 
Will is. I think Will's downstairs. Oh, no. Will's actually in the window. Will, come here. Come here, Will. Come say hi to everybody. I got her favorite. It's a uh, uh, catnip. Will, come here. What? Come here. She, she likes to sometimes sit in the window. Come here, Will. Here. Come up and say hi to everybody. Come on. Come on. Here, watch. Lil's going to jump up in a second. Whoop, there you go. She, there she goes. Here. Well, let's, let's change the camera up so that everybody can say hi to you. Yeah, no, Lil, Lil's doing good. Uh, Pablo's doing great. And you guys saw Ginny in, earlier in the in the live stream. She's hanging out by the by the yard. Um, so, yeah. I did. I, I I did, James. I did fix the the hole that they were escaping from. So I basically went through and I zip tied. There was like this one spot in the fence that went underwater. And what happened is last year, the fence went all the way to the ground. But I think either through erosion of the water passing through the fence or maybe the birds trying to dig, um, they found like a way where they can dive underwater and slip under it. And so I, I basically zip tied some things so that it's a little bit tighter. And so at least for now, I won't be having that problem. <laughs> no zoe unfortunately i just think molly's gone and and i'm sad i actually have a portrait of her that a viewer painted up actually in the back corner of my office it's kind of as a memorial for her but uh sadly i do not think that that's happening i don't think she's coming back <laughs> Um, yeah, any time now, Gene, honestly, like I said, I, I am expecting particularly, uh, Audrey and Ariel to have calves very, very soon. I, I even think I saw, uh, like, I mean, they're, they're starting to bag up. Uh, it should, it should be, um, very, very soon is the expectation. If you mix equal parts flour, sugar, and baking soda and put it on a shallow plate, rats and mice love it. Oh, is that in and like the baking soda causes them to explode because they can't fart? I feel like is the the urban myth I've heard. Um, I don't know. Is that true? Let's let's see if this is true. We're gonna we're gonna see this if flour, sugar, and baking soda will kill a rat. Hold on. Here, I'll let you guys surf along with me here as I do this. Okay, will flour, baking, soda, and sugar kill a rat? Okay, rats can be killed by using baking soda in the powder form or mixing it with other ingredients such as flour and sugar, which the rats can eat. Okay. Oh, and here's somebody who... who and I'm not sure if I want to show this video. I don't. I don't want to show something that's upsetting to people. Um, homemade rat poison. Okay, safe and effective mouse bait. Rats can't burb, according to this Reddit user. Um, okay. All right. So uh, I, I, you know what, Anna? I think I'm going to give that a shot. I think that. Based on the research I'm doing right now, I think that that looks like a very decent suggestion and and uh, that has limited downside. I mean, I know it's probably not the best way for the rat to go, but I'm already trying to kill this rat five different ways. And so, all right. I mean, and, and again, if you guys missed this earlier, I'm going to share this clip again um, because this was just the craziest scene to me. Um, here, we're going to... So this happened the other night. So you can see the rat down here. This is one of the traps that I have set up right over here. This is actually where the chicken feed is. So I like use that to attract his attention. And you can see, watch, boom. <laughs> it got caught in the trap and then immediately jumped out of the trap. So this rat, um, <laughs> what on earth did I stumble into? I know Kestrel, this is, this is, this is not the usual live stream. I, I will definitely acknowledge that. Um, uh, yeah, there's, a, there's a lot going on here today. I mean, honestly, weasel, that would 
so be it. <laughs> it, it, it would go away pretty quick because we have pretty wet climate here and uh, the bugs would get to it pretty quickly. Have I heard about the court case yet? I don't know. I'm not sure which um, court case. How do your cats react to catnip? I don't remember a video you're giving it to them. Oh, I mean, Lil loves catnip. Uh, Pablo and Ginny like catnip too, but Lil is the, she's got a little bit of a catnip problem, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah. <laughs> I I would agree with that, Sherry. I I, I it, it would not be how I would choose to go. That that's for sure. Um, yeah, no, I, I don't think that that would be a pleasant way to go. I, I agree with that. Wait, did you know my grandmother used to be the town clerk for many, many, many years? Are are you talking about? Oh gosh, what's her name? Um, she no. Oh. Oh golly! I'm, I, oh, I think I know who your grandmother is, RJ. Um, I, I don't want to say her name here. Just uh, yeah. How's Jeremy Junior doing? Uh, Jeremy Junior is doing okay. He's not being too too much of a jerk. Um, so yeah. When are the pigs coming? Uh, they'll be coming in the end of April. Uh, so uh, in a little bit, we'll, we'll be having the pigs. Uh, yeah, I, th I think it's like late. I can actually text Ben. Uh, but yeah, like uh, late April, I believe. <laughs> Train the rat is barn. <laughs> I don't know, Leslie. <laughs> um, I don't know about that. <laughs> Could Black Francis take on the rat? I don't think Black Francis could take on the rat. I mean, the one thing I'm grateful for is the rat is not attacking the weird chickens, which would be a concern. But I have to get this rat out of there before I start hatching chicks and goslings because that rat will kill those those baby birds. And so I need to I need to deal with this. This is it, it is a problem that must be addressed. That is for sure. Oh wait, do you guys want to see Baby B? Wait, here wait. Look, look, you can see Baby B. You can see the other. Like, oh, here, wait, actually, hold on. I'm going to go back to this again. So you can see, um, so here is, we've got Bonnie McMurray in the foreground. Belinda Carlisle is the next one. Um, there's Baby, actually, no. So Baby B is in the back. There's Ariel right there, and you can see uh, the very pregnant Audrey wandering right here. So, yeah. A bear trap. Yeah, I know. That might be what I need to catch that. Well, thank you for stopping by, Jan. <laughs> I found that the best placement of traps is not out in the open, but along the walls rodents don't like to go out in the open. They follow the walls. I've been putting traps by the walls. I I've been putting traps pretty much everywhere. There's when I'm setting those traps, there's usually like, I don't know. I'm usually putting out about four or five, five traps per night. Um, and yeah. Yeah. Lil takes care of the house mice. So we don't have mice in this house and, and really Lil is the reason for that. She does a really good job with it. Um, I don't think so. I mean, like, here's the thing about swans. Like, they would not be happy in the way my setup is the way I do it for the ducks and geese. And so I, I, I feel bad if I did that and I had swans and they were unhappy. I think I'm going to have six calves. Is is That's that's the number I'm hoping for. Um, that is not certain, though. But I believe six is the magic number we're shooting for. Allergies. Uh, I... So what was happening is I was petting Ginny outside. I ran up upstairs to kind of check on things. And um, basically, I, I, I touched my face. And so I have this thing. I'm, I'm allergic to cats. And so that that's what's going on with me right now. Uh, looks like Abby was she was taking a nap outside. And she just got up and wandered over. I wish I could just rotate this camera every so often. Yeah, that's exactly right, Finn the Cat. <laughs> uh, 
Look, I will just because everybody's saying it, I will set up I, I have the buckets. I, I have them that I've used them in the past for mice. So so I will try it. I just don't think it's gonna work. I, I am pretty certain the mouse or the I'm sorry, the mouse, the rat will get right out of it. Um I mean the only thing I have I've thought about is do I put like uh like uh canola oil on the bottom of the bucket so that it can't like climb up the sides or get up. Um so yeah. We don't have any beef for sale right now. So we don't have any beef for sale right now, Douglas, but we will at the end of the year um, when uh, Joey Ramone goes off to uh, uh, his his next phase of life. Um, she, Lil was the, um, now you know what? Pablo was the better barn cat than Lil. So I don't know if Lil would be the, the ever be barn cat of the year. Um, I don't know. I, I I say actually though this year Ginny is is putting up a strong showing. She's yeah she's been doing some good stuff. You know I I I have actually tried the good name. What's happening? Hold on, I'm having some internet problems. I have tried it. I I just I don't know if it's going to work for me. What the problem with the good nature is they don't work below freezing. Um, and so that's that's a problem. If I put peanut oil in the bottom of the bucket, yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, that I think that, that is going to be what I do. As Toby gets older, wondering if there's a retirement plan for my friend. I mean, honestly, I would, I just would do whatever I can to take care of them and make sure that they're happy and healthy. I mean, Toby, I don't see ever wanting to be a house dog. I, I could see Abby actually wanting to retire to be a house dog. I think Toby would always want to be outside. And if he just needed like more creature comforts or a different situation, I would provide him with that. No, no doubt about it in my mind. Uh oh, I'm having some internet problems suddenly. I think it's because it's so windy; it's hurting the satellite. Like satellite, I can see it like rocking around a little bit. Um, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, I'm having a weird internet problem now, which is kind of annoying, but uh, that is what it is. Um, yeah, I, and and uh, Saya Saja, I, I apologize if I'm butchering the pronunciation of your name. Um, I I think that the, that's exactly what he'd want, and I would just try to make sure he's as comfy as doggly possible. Um, yeah. So if these have a heart traps that I just ordered don't work, Julie, that will be the next route. I'll try the electrical. Um, yeah, we're having some nuts winds today, D. I don't know if you can see it in the in the live shot that I'm showing down below. But you can see those trees rocking. You can see the hoop coop blowing. It's it's really windy today. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, it froze. <laughs> the rat sabotaged the live stream. <laughs> Hey, Rebecca, good to see you. Thanks for stopping in. Do I prefer more steers or heifers from my calves this year? Honestly, I'd love to have a good mix of both. Um, the steers, for the because of the meat, the heifers, which I actually don't think I'm going to keep any of the heifers that are born here. I'll probably try to trade them so that I can have just kind of more girls for Macho Man um, is really what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> Yeah. So, um, 
Uh, uh oh, server not found. Yeah, I'm having all sorts of internet problems right now. Uh, well, thanks for stopping in. And uh, I did want to say, by the way, um, so premiering today at 5 p.m. Eastern time, I've got a new video over on the Morgan Gold channel. Um, hold on, I'm going to dig up the link so you can actually get it. Uh, there it is. So I'm going to be coming in with this. And uh, yeah, I am super, super proud of this video. This this video that I'm going to be sharing is is probably the video I am proudest of um, really that I've made in a very, very long time. And so if you get a chance to check it out, uh, it'd mean the world to me. Um, you guys can actually head on over to that other link if you want now. And I'm just going to be getting the, the live stream chat going there. Um, it, this, this should be fun. I, yeah, I know I'm going to be jumping from one to the other. And when this ends, it's going to be going live right to that. Uh, and so, yeah, you don't even have, to, I don't even think you have to go anywhere. Like you can just kind of stay here and hang out and it's going to be this thing. So, all right. So if you're wondering about this new video, let me give you the backstory. So I went to Catholic high school and I'm not Catholic. I'm, I like, I was raised kind of like in a non-religious house. And I, I talk about this in the video and it really just kind of talks about the experience of being the only Jewish kid out of Catholic school and kind of the weirdness that comes with that. And I don't know, I, I, I'm really proud of this video. I, I feel like I tried to do the best I could with it in bringing it to life and like making something that I don't know, like tells a good story. And so that's what the, this video is going to be. And so, uh, yeah, I got 15 people waiting. If you want, pop up a window and check it out. I think this will offer there. Have you thought about motion sensor cameras? Do I, do have, I have I have a lot of motion sensor cameras. I mean, Jennifer, the way I'm able to get this shot right. Um, so so you remember, like I have. Oops, remove this. Add this. So like the way I was able to get this shot, this is these are like the cameras that we have. We have like these all over the farm. Um, and so that's what this is. I also have trail cameras, which are a little different, but yeah, th this rat drives me nuts because he was able to do this. <laughs> Any plans to go? So Heinlein, I probably will. I don't know if people really want me to go live on that channel. I think they'd rather me go live on this channel, but yeah, I don't plan on adding any barn cats right now. Yeah, Divine, there's a whole bunch of videos. Like, so if folks who like my weird non farming videos are wondering why I've stopped making weird non farming videos, I, the answer is I actually haven't. I've just started doing all the weird non farming videos over on this other channel, this Morgan Gold channel. Um, and, and so, uh, yeah, so if you're looking for me, that's where I, I'm making those videos. Um, and so you can actually whoop, see it right here. And, and this channel, if you're wondering about it, it's this this is the channel right here it's uh yeah morgan gold stories told i don't know it kind of ramps it's kind of fun um but yeah this this is that other channel the videos like i you know i, I wouldn't say i'm putting them out every week because i'm actually trying to take my time with the types of videos but but they're like more video essays or like investigations or breakdowns or commentary but yeah, that th that's where this channel comes into play. And so, uh, I don't know. I've been having a lot of fun making these videos. And this next video is going to be premiering in just a moment or two. And so, uh, yeah, I'd really love if you guys kind of can can follow and join me. Well, I hope you have time in church. And don't worry, the, the video will be up once it's it, it premieres. And so it'll be there. Um I am absolutely keeping baby B Lisa. So, so baby B is not related to macho man. And so she will probably breed with macho man, not this year, but next year. Um, and she's definitely been there. She, I gotta say, and you'll see this in the next video I put out, baby B is like the, she's like giving macho man a run for his money in terms of easy to handle, uh, cattle. Um, and so, so she's doing really good. 
Oh, well, thank you. I really appreciate you saying that, Esmeralda. And I, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. Um, but this new video, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. I, it's, like I said, it's called The Only Jew in Catholic School. And it's like a story. Um, and yeah, I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, somebody put an F-bomb in the comments. I got to manage that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know. Is this this will be where I go once this video ends? It's it's gonna premiere in, I think, in just a minute or so. I'll I'll stick here until the premiere starts, and then then I'm gonna jump over there. Ah, I really appreciate the support there, Assassin. That that's so cool. The weird non farming that really continue. Yeah, I mean, I like doing both, and I I think this is something that for some people it's kind of they I don't know they don't quite get it, um, but like. I love making farm videos. I love working on the farm. I love doing all that. It, it makes me so happy that like I get to wake up in the morning and that's what I do every day, but it's not necessarily the only thing I want to do. And so that's, that's why I make like other videos like this too. And, and I, I feel like there's room in the world for both. And, that, and that's what I'm trying to do. Do you plan on keeping every heifer you get or just butchering the extra steers? I mean, I, like I was just saying, so I won't keep the heifers. I'm, I actually have a couple of folks that I'm going to probably trade heifers with. So they have heifers born on their farm and I will take those heifers and they will be swapped out so that I can have fresh genetics. Um, is sort of how I'm trying to do it. Yeah. It's there. All, all the other videos are storytelling channels. Like, this video that's coming out in oh, just a minute is like it's animation. There's lots of animation and it's me telling stories. It's that's it's just the video is just bouncing between those two things. And it's just a whole bunch of different stories from the farm. I, I will see you on the other side, Rebecca, and I will see everybody else on the other side, too. So come join me now as we go watch the start of the only Jew in Catholic school. Thanks for watching, everybody.